Welcome Leo, we're going to be looking at what action you need to take for this year, okay, using the um, Work Your Light Oracle cards, and I've pulled out the action cards specifically for this reading to give you, oh, no, to give you an idea as to what you need to work on. So, let's have a little look-see, shall we? Leo, one card for Leo, please. Leo, there we go, let's have a look. Okay, this says, share your voice, um, come out of the cave, persecution, expressive, expression, sorry, very interesting. I'll read um, what it, the meaning from the book at the end, but I just wonder if some of you like, feel like the waters, maybe are too stormy for you to come out of the cave. Or maybe that's just fear. But let's have a look further into this. Tell me more about this for Leo. Share your voice. Leo, share your voice. Let's get these in order here, Leo. here okay Leo this is really interesting because looking at this um, card here share your voice what has come up here first off I want to talk about comparison okay and um, I just wonder if for some of you there's this fear of when we're talking about she, your voice, oh, I don't know if fear is the right word, actually. Oh, no, it could be. It could be. It's like there's so much inside of you that you want to express, but sort of as soon as you go to, for some of you, you're slammed, like you're shut down. Um, for some of you, this could actually be your own mind doing this. So like as soon as you think, oh, I should say this or I should say that, your mind, that critical part of yourself, that voice goes, no, do not, do not even say that, right? Um, yeah, it's really interesting actually because this I have never had from this card, that kind of message to be honest with you. But there's certainly a um, quite the contrast between um you standing strong in your power of what it is that you're saying and um and feeling like oh, there's this feeling of um I would say it's like the The solidness of your ideas or your thoughts or your opin opinions is not as strong as what it could be. And that's sort of this talk inside your mind. It could be from others around you, but I feel like potentially it's more you doing that to yourself. It's kind of like, Leo, you're getting in your own way. These two, you know, this really reminds me actually of Gemini. So if you have Gemini in your chart, this could be the case for you. And go and have a look at Gemini's reading as well. But I want to say here, there's, there's two contrasting opinions. And it's like this butting heads. This butting heads all the time. And there's kind of not this way to get past it for some reason there needs to be this compromise right and even if this is with yourself finding a way to quieten the voice that is holding you back here leo that is holding you back from stepping out of the cave it's kind of like some of you are waiting for the waters to be smoother to be calmer 
and in fact this is as calm as it will get so it's not going to matter how long you wait it's time to step out now there is no more waiting to be done okay the mind see this is this overthinking right the thoughts that um, you are allowing to pollute your existence it's sort of like there's this energy of wanting to build a solid foundation to walk on but with this mind stuff going on the foundation is always going to be wobbly until the mind stuff stops it's clearing up these thoughts so that they no longer get in your way being confident in what it is that you believe in, being confident in your path that you walk. And if there's any area of your life that you're not confident, that you have fear, that you are feeling quite wobbly on, that's the area you need to work on the most. Okay? Um, we have existence here. You see, this is what it is about, coming into the, the truth of who you are, of this existence. This is this alignment that you need to have with yourself, right? So that you, that, that, that solidness, you see, it's like this understanding that regardless, you're a tree, okay, theoretically, right? This is a metaphorical example because you're not really a tree. Um, but understanding, for example, the trees, right? It doesn't matter which tree it is, it's still a tree. Yeah? There is no separation in that relationship of being a tree. Each is used for a different purpose. And for you, it's understanding this. That everything in existence is from the same place. It is only used for a different purpose to make the whole actually work. Okay? Um, there's this new vision here. And I, if this hasn't occurred already for you, this will be coming about. And this is going to require you to step out of the square and the box that you put yourself in. Or potentially that others have put you in. It's going to um, require you to stretch to limits that you thought were beyond possible. Okay, and that potentially is going to feel incredibly uncomfortable. But it is necessary for you to be able to grow and learn. Okay, um, I feel like this is actually quite an important part of your journey in this lifetime. And it's something that is going to add um, how do I put this? It's going to add to the life force within you. So you're actually going to be um, sort of pumping at a higher rate, if you like. Yeah, um, there's this letting go card, and which is quite interesting that this has come up, especially with the cards that are to come. This letting go card here, there's, there's restrictions and potentially beliefs and thoughts that are getting in your way. There may be circumstances that you need to let go of, people that you need to let go of. Um, if there's anything that you're holding on to from the past, which is old, which is done, which is finished, you need to let go of it. Everything about it needs to be let go of. If you're holding on to things um, for keepsakes, um, that's keeping you plugged in, okay? Um, yeah, because it's sort of like, even if it's something little, even if it's something little and it feels like it doesn't matter, it does matter, okay? And it needs to be let go of in order for you to embark upon a new journey, to embark upon a new life, to allow this vision to take place, to let this alignment happen, you need to let go. 
okay? Because it's sort of like the letting go waters, the adds water to allow the lily pad to um, actually flourish. Under the lily pad is mud. It's muddy, muddy water. Okay, and this is the thing, Leo, out of muddy water can be this incredible beauty. So don't let go of hope. Always believe and always know that you can create something incredible regardless of what has led to this point in time for you. Okay, always hold that faith because you have the ability. It's actually you who is going to blossom and flower. provided you're letting go of all the stuff underneath, of all the stuff that you've got you to where you are now, good and bad, yeah? Understanding that in order to set yourself free, you need to stop looking at what you had and looking to the future. Because what you had is done and dusted. It's finished. So it's time to let go. Right? Because there's this transformation here. This transformation that you have everything you need for. You don't need anything else. You don't need to take anything else with you other than what it is that you have right now. It's sort of like It's kind of like actually letting, how am I going to put this? Hopefully this makes sense. Letting go, see how these dew drops are dropping into this pond here? It's like each thing that you let go of adds to this new pond in which the water lily can be transferred into this cleaner water. And that's what makes the transformation happen. Because this person is sitting on a lily pad here right sort of it reminds me of a lily pad anyway so you know this is really so important for you leo to do the clearing that you need to do especially now especially now don't put it off any longer there's no time anymore there's no time you need to be doing what you do in order to move forward what needs to be done needs to be done in order to move forward okay because there's this rebirth here and here's the thing, right, there's the stormy clouds here. Again, you know, it's like the mud in the pond where the lily pad grows, right? Seriously, it's done. You have risen above it. You have grown and you have come so, so far and it's been turmoil. It has been an absolute, like, for some of you, torturous journey almost like the real dark night of the soul business like hugely and um and now you're uh, you're coming out to play your own tune so you know clearing out these other things that seem minor but are necessary these are what are going to lead you to the dream that you have because all this time you've been sitting here dreaming of the dream and now it's here for the taking. It is here for the taking, Leo. So it's time for you to step into that, okay? Step into that and be it. Know that it's part of your journey and part of this lifetime and what you are meant to do, okay? So given that, let's have a look here. Okay, so where are we? Share your voice. Let's have a look. Here we go. Okay, Leo. Come out of the cave. Persecution. Expression. You are being called to share your voice. Perhaps by speaking up in a relationship or through writing, speaking, singing or some other form of creative expression. We hold a Sorry, we each hold a deep truth within us that longs to be expressed. Sculpted for lifetimes, the voice of your soul is like no other. It carries with it wisdom, 
that can only be gained through soul history and growth by remembering, tapping into and expressing, oh, expressing, expressing this unique tone. We not only heal ourselves, we also heal the planet at large. When you share your voice, you unlock something in the universe and call a missing piece of you home. Your individual voice is the most powerful sound current on the planet. If you have kept your soul's voice silenced or held back, chanting or singing could be truly life-changing for you. As we shed the layers of our personality and start letting our unique soul speak through us, we discover that we actually have a very clear message that longs to be shared. The more we speak it, the clearer it gets. There has never been a better time in history than right now to rise up, speak your truth and share your soul's voice. If you feel fearful, know that you are not alone and that the world needs your new unique tone in order to harmonise. As we each rise up and share our song, we make it easier for the next person to do the same. Work your light action. So this is the action you need to take, okay? Express yourself. Share your voice. Speak to those who can hear you. Yeah, that's just it, Leo. Like, you know, sometimes wasting your breath on people who are not going to hear you and you know aren't going to hear you, um, yet you want so much for them to be hearing you, you know, that's a waste of time. Focus on people who are going to give you the time of day, who are going to get you, who you know get you, okay? And really look at why it is that you want to focus on those who don't because I'll tell you what, um, once you get a handle on that and actually let that go, then you will be firing ahead like nobody's business. So yeah. Okay, Leo, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.